Hello everybody, this is Tim from Mainly Muscle Cars along with cameraman Ken. And today we are going over a 67 Bronco. Now, a real hard place to start uh, on this Bronco. I mean, simply everything has been done. Um, so I know I'm gonna miss some stuff and try to get everything in the notes and went over it a couple times. But uh, by all means, take a good look at the pictures and a good look at all the features. It's amazing the amount of stuff has been done to this Bronco. Uh, start off, it's a 67 body. Uh, this one was done in Central California. Uh, so a good, good start to a Bronco, kind of a nice rust-free area where they come from. So a nice solid example that was started with, so it's not a cobbled together uh, Bronco. Uh, it's got brand new Raven black paint. Now this is a base clear setup and it's brand new. You know, it's not a high-end show paint, but it is nice paint for a Bronco. Inside the Bronco, front to back, um, professionally sprayed at Line X in Central California, the uh, uh, plaques right inside. But they went and they did the dash, the firewall, um, they even did the door jams and stuff. So if in the summer you want to run without the uh, uh, without the doors in place, you know everything's lined. You don't have to worry about scratching the inside of a door jam or something like that. But uh, nice quality setup front to back with the Line X. Uh, replace the factory seats. They use the uh, Wild Horses seats. Um, now these are leather also, so a good durable setup, and they look really nice. Um, the fronts recline, uh, the back seat actually folds flat and then tumbles forward. It gives you the full use of that back seat area. So if you wanted to, you know, use it for camping, you'd have plenty of room for all your gear. Uh, just fold that seat up. Um, dash wise, uh, they kind of ditched the factory dash style. They went with all toggle gauges, um, actually toggles basically, and then they went with a center gauge. Now this is a digital setup. So you have a digital speedometer, um, digital gas gauge, temperature, oil pressure. So a really nice setup, kind of a modern look to it. You see in a lot of the high-end Broncos. Um, just underneath that, there's actually a power outlet setup. So you have three different outlets. You're set up for, you know, a couple cell phones, navigation or whatever you have. You've got a good option there. Um, you've got a center console there. This is a toughy box setup. So very, very strong box. So if you, the top is off and you want to go to the store, you can certainly lock stuff inside that console and it would not be easy one to get in. They're very high-end console, very hard to break into. So good setup, so yeah, very easy to live with Bronco um, inside. It also has that family cage that was lying next at the same time. So that cage basically goes all the way from the front of the passenger compartment to the back. Um, just in case the unthinkable ever happened, everybody would be protected. Under the hood of this Bronco, um, the factory 302 was tossed. It now has a fuel injected 5.0 HO engine. Basically, it's like the Mustang engine. It should be a roller cam 5 liter. Um, very, very reliable engine. Uh, the cool thing about the fuel injection, in case you ever decide to use it off road, that you know it works on pretty much any angle. You're not going to get the flooding issues you will like with a carburetor. Plus, you get better fuel economy and a lot better reliability. C4 automatic, so extremely easy to use transmission, very durable. Um, behind that automatic has made it a twin transfer case setup. Now this is double Dana 20s. Uh, really neat setup from Wild Horses. It uses a three stick design. So it just works like a standard two stick. You control you know, a high range, low range if you like. You can also lock in the front end, lock in the back end. And then if you do ever get in a situation that's a little hairy, dicey, you need to go slow, you can actually grab that third stick and get a compound of the compound low. So it's very hard to even walk that slow. Most people would never need it. In case you do, it's there, and it's really cool to talk about. Um, brand new drive shafts in there. Um, nice high-speed balance on both those. Uh, decals are still on them. Um, front end was switched from a standard Dana 44 setup. Actually, it would have been a Dana 30 in the 67 Bronco, but upgraded to a Dana 44, and it's a high pinion. Um, that is a really desirable setup. A lot of the off-road guys like it. It's a little bit better for the drive shaft angles as well. Um, in back, it has a brand new uh, Curry setup, and it's a high pinion, and that, uh, that system there uses a specialized housing. So it moves the uh, pinion up, so again, it gets the uh, drive lines out of the way of any rocks or anything you might you know, bang on if you ever did take it off-road. Um, heavy duty housing, heavy duty axles, uh, outside of those axles, all four corners, power disc brakes. So when you go to use these bigger tires or, you know, whatever you do, disc brakes are always going to be better than the, the drums. Power is always going to be better than non-power. So, I mean, it's just a really nice setup. 
Um, it uses an Explorer setup on the rear and a standard Dana setup on the front. So again, it's something you can get parts anywhere. Um, a lot of this sounds highly specialized, but the cool thing is it uses OEM style parts. So this is gonna be a very easy Bronco to drive and a very easy Bronco to service. Okay, suspension wise on this one, uh, here we go again. Um, uses, uh, there's kind of a mix done here on the suspension. I think the base of the kit is a Wild Horses three and a half inch system. Um, has a nice long coil spring in front, so you've got plenty of room for articulation. And they've actually upgraded the radius arms. Now these are a Bronco Bob unit. Um, really nice setup, a very long radius arm. Um, gives you plenty of room for your tires, so you know when you're at full crank, the tires don't rub on them. Uh, ton of articulation, but the biggest thing about them in my book is they actually correct all the front end geometry. So when you're driving down the road, this Bronco behaves like a new vehicle. You're not chasing it down the road. Um, it gives you all that caster that really makes the uh, all the difference in driving. So you can one hand this thing at 60 miles an hour. I personally put probably about 50 to 60 miles on it. Uh, thing has treated me real well. I've been very impressed with how it drives. Out back, um, the standard leaf springs have been swapped out. Uh, went with 11 pack Beaver. Uh, this gives you tremendous amounts of articulation, but because they're a really small spring, they're soft. So it doesn't bounce you down the road. It's a very soft ride. Uh, and if you do get off road, that thing will articulate like crazy. So it's best you know, of all worlds with the amount of articulation and the ride. And it's durability too. It's a US made spring, very high quality setup. Uh, with those springs, sometimes soft springs, you might get some axle wrap. However, this one has a torque fork that basically locates the rear end. So gone is the axle hop that you see. And the axle hopping typically off-road is what's going to break parts. This one with that torque fork is going to keep everything located. Um, it's going to drive better on the road and it's going to be a lot better off the road. Again, there's so much to talk about on this one. I'm sure I've missed some stuff. Uh, you know, we've upgraded lighting on it with H4s. Um, the electrical system is upgraded. You know, I could just kind of keep going on and on. Um, but take a look at the photos. If, there's, if you have any questions, please give us a call. We'd be happy to help out. 360-863-2241. Or you can visit us on our website at mainlymusclecars.com.